What's up guys? I figured it was time that I have to make a video on trans shipping or buying fish from overseas, how it works, how the whole process works. Pardon the random fence, I'm at a job site right now and I have so many people messaging me that I realized I need to make a video on this topic. So, the question, how do you buy a fish from overseas, from a breeder overseas, and how do you get it to the United States or to Canada or um, the UK or wherever you're at? So. This is how it works. Usually when you deal with a breeder overseas or a farm, you can work out with them the price of the fish shipped to the United States or to Canada or whatever country you're in to a trans shipper. So a lot of the fish we buy are from Thailand. And I usually ask, the you got to be specific with the breeder and say, does this include shipping um, or not? And he'll tell you the price plus shipping or the price including shipping, whatever it is. And that will be to a trans shipper. This is what a trans shipper is. A trans shipper is somebody who has an import license and can receive shipments. So in the United States, there's two of them that I use um, or know about. There's Julie Yang, uh, or Julie, sorry, Julie Tran in uh, California. She's in Sacramento. That's actually real close to me. And then there's Ku Yang and he's in the Midwest uh, somewhere. I've dealt with uh, Julie. I highly recommend her. I've never had any problems, and I actually love her. She takes great care of me um, always, and so I've been happy with that. So how it works, they ship into someone like Julie, and all the breeders in Thailand, there's actually fish markets in Thailand, the main fish market, where there's three different shippers, I believe, and so you can buy from multiple different breeders. I buy from Woody, I buy from Corn, I buy, buy from another person, and they can all bring their fish to the market and that person that trans shipper there in Thailand ships to Julie most shipments are every two weeks um, where they ship it over and so they all ship at the same time so I say okay when's the next shipment okay that Saturday it's usually a Saturday so they will all bring the fish to them they'll ship it into Julie now Julie is the trans shipper has an import license and she imports the fish um, and receives them then unpacks them puts them in her tanks and what she does is she charges you a trans shipping fee so usually the prices, I believe, I, I have a link to um, Aqua, Cra Aqua Craze is her website, and you can see the trans shipping information there and their prices. But it's usually about twenty to thirty-five dollars. She charges you on the size of the fish and the size of the bag the fish is shipped in. So say you get a three and a half inch fish, it probably costs me about twenty dollars import fee. I pay that for her, and then I pay her to repackage the fish and ship them to me. Um, usually I believe she ships uh, UPS overnight I believe for me I'm close it cost me about $50 for a shipment but that's also why when I buy one fish if I see a fish in Thailand I really want I deal with the breeder make a deal and they'll ship it let's say in two weeks from now and then I start shopping for other people because I realize that the shipment from Julie to me will be cheaper per fish if I get multiple fish shipping this is why I get a big box full of fish so then you can deal with them and get them to ship um, overseas so then so she takes them all they receive them she usually messages me um, she usually gets them in on a Sunday I get a message usually from her on a um, Monday saying hey uh, your fish are ready this is the fee this is the per fish you got four fish at three and a half inches which is twenty dollars each that's eighty dollars plus I'm gonna the box in the weight of shipping say it's gonna be sixty bucks for the ship overnight shipping plus like seven dollars or eight dollars for a box and styrofoam and the heat pack and everything and then she ships them to me um so that's real simple you can get that in there's there's trans shippers there's one in the uk that i know of i can't remember the person's name i believe it's a lady there's a, a guy that i can find his name in canada who does it i know that um even other countries get have trans shippers as well and so it kind of works all the same way um, remember, when you're dealing with the trans shipper, you're dealing with them shipping the fish to the United States. Then you have to pay reshipment. This is why a fish that you may see a nice flower horn in Red Texas for $150 that the breeder's selling, which is a great fish, actually sells for $300 here because you got to take into account that you're probably going to spend at least $75 to $90 to have a fish reshipped to you. Um, your trans shipping fees, we call it, trans shipping and reshipment to you. That's why I get multiple fish, get there, and it kind of cuts it down. So rather than me paying $80 or $90 for one fish, I'm actually paying $25 extra per fish with the trans shipping fee and the splitting the shipment together to me. This is why people, there's a guy, Chris Rounds, some of you may know, 
why he gets big shipments in from the Thai breeders and he pays all that money himself and he does it in bulk so then he can offer the fish at a good price to you. But that's why if the breeder's selling it for 150, he's not gonna sell it for 150. He has to pay for the trans shipping fee and the other fees and so on. Um, most of the selling I do, I actually just help out a few breeders that are friends of mine. They've taken really good care of me. And because of that, I and I like to sell fish and help connect people. And I like you guys to be able to have good fish. So I usually just make that connection and help with that. You pay the breeder directly. The breeder ships to the trans shipper and the trans shipper can help you. So literally, I haven't been paid a cent ever for selling a fish for somebody else. Um, and that's just because I like helping out. Now, so many of you guys know about cool fish. I have so many cool fish. A lot of you guys have had cool fish and that's what really is important to me and I like doing it. Um, I will be selling some of my fish and if I can make a few dollars, maybe that'll be cool. But really, I'm a hobbyist like you and any hobby, you pour money into it and don't really get a lot out of it. So that's just kind of how it works. But um, if you have any questions, go ahead and uh, let me know. Um, lastly, I'll say when you deal with people overseas, I never gift the first time when, with PayPal. I always send payment, um, um, not as friends and family, as a business. And I usually, some breeders, I, I just add the 3% fees on top of it. After I deal with people multiple times, like Woody or Corn, I am more than happy to gift it to them. They are trustworthy. They always take care of me. I have stellar reputation. They're great people. Um, that's fine. Uh, dead on arrival guarantees. I know most of these breeders, any good breeder has a dead on arrival guarantee. I know Corn and Woody do. And if the fish dies, what they do is they will um, replace the fish with a similar quality. Um, that's the standard process. Um, so your Red Texas dies, that's worth $200. They'll replace it with $200 fish. You're still responsible to pay shipping again and other things. Um, but the price of the fish, sometimes some few breeders will refund the price of the fish minus shipping. So if it costs them $30 to ship, to the United States, it's usually about what it costs each breeder, by the way, 20 to 30 bucks on a three inch fish, that's what they pay to ship. Then um, then they'll refund you the price of the fish minus shipping. You know, realize if there's a dead on arrival issue, everybody loses out, it, it sucks, but they, especially as a seller, lose out. They lose out on the fish, they lose out on a customer being unhappy, and then they also um, lose out having to replace it too. It, it's just a mess. So it's a, it's a lose-lose for everybody in those situations, but there's great breeders. They take really good care. I've been really happy. I have never lost a fish getting it from Julie, um, which is really cool. Um, she's done a great job. Um, lastly, when you import fish, I just want to note that it's usually wise to treat your fish um, as as a quarantine. Stick them in a quarantine tank. Prozzi Pro is fantastic. Gets rid of all kinds of bacterial um, or parasitic issues. Um, Riddick is a fantastic treatment as well. A lot of times going through shipping, shipping, the fish can get it, can get susceptible to it. You know, it's gone through different water and all kinds of different things. So um, that's usually just a standard. Treat your fish, take care of your fish. It should um, be well. Um, acclimating is a whole different story I'm not going to get into, but shipping is real simple and easy. It's secure, it's safe. Dealing with these people in Thailand, I do it all the time. I get a shipment almost every two weeks and so is a ton of people. Um, if you're just absolutely not comfortable, find someone like me or maybe Chris or someone else who has some fish in the United States and willing to ship to you. Um, it's just going to be harder for you to get those uh, those fish and the real nice fish. Really, it's most cost effective in the end, usually if you're buying a ton of fish to deal with the people overseas, but not everybody's comfortable with that, I understand. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Like, comment, subscribe. Check out my other videos on Red Texas, Flower Horn series that I'm making, all that fun stuff. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.